With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. Our question says if a recombinant DNA bearing gene for resistance to antibiotic ampicillin is transferred to E. coli cells, the host cell becomes transformed into ampicillin-resistant cells. If such bacteria are transferred on agar plates containing ampicillin, only transformants will grow and the untransformed recipient cells will die. The ampicillin resistant gene in this case is called as option 1 selectable marker, option 2 recombinant protein, option 3 cloning site or option 4 chemical scalpels. So what this question is saying, so I will be converting it into a flow diagram. So here the first thing it says is that if a recombinant DNA bearing resistance to the antibiotic ampicillin is transferred to E. coli. So what this question basically means that uh, we take a recombinant DNA also abbreviated as RDNA. So this RDNA has a gene for ampicillin resistance. So this uh, RDNA is resistant to ampicillin antibiotic. Now it says that we are transferring this RDNA into the E. coli. So we are transferring into E. coli. Now it says that then the host cells become transformed into ampicillin resistant cells. So the host cell that is these E. coli, now they become resistant to ampicillin. So basically they become ampicillin resistant cells. Ampicillin resistant so they become ampicillin resistant now the question says that uh, so if such bacteria are transferred on agar plates containing ampicillin only transformants will uh, transformants will glow, grow and the untransformed recipient cells will die now these uh, ampicillin resistant gene along with all the other organisms uh, all other e coli so they are transferred on a agar plate so agar plate is basically a growth medium and this agar plate contains the antibiotic ampicillin so this contains ampicillin now uh, the question also says that if we do so that is we transfer these host into agar plate then only the transformants will grow so what will happen is that the transformants that is all those uh, host cells that have been transformed into uh, ampicillin resistant uh, organisms so these transformant will grow whereas the non-transformant cell that is those cells that do not contain this ampicillin resistance gene that is uh, those cells that have not taken up the rdna so these non-transformants, they will die. They cannot grow in this medium because they do not have the resistance to ampicillin. Now the main question here is, the ampicillin resistant gene in this case is called. So what is the ampicillin resistance gene called in such a case? So the answer to this question is that ampicillin resistance here is known as selectable marker. So it is called selectable marker why they are called selectable marker is obvious because they help to differentiate between the transformed cell which will grow and the non-transformant cell which will die so uh, that's why this ampicillin resistance or any antibiotic resistance gene for that matter is called a selectable marker so the answer to this question will be option one that is selectable marker so this was the answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.